Oh, another beautiful day. You know, I can't get, you're never going to get uh, tired of these waking up and it's just perfect out here in Ohio. And now, it's not, that is not perfect in Ontario. Relax. I didn't say anything. Uh, I saw you looking at me with your squirrely pink eye. <laughs> Amy had allergies this morning. Her eye was sore. There's nothing I hate worse than that. I'm just going to go get her some drops. Um, Ollie's team got thumped last night in uh, Macedonia. Poor Ollie. We literally, there was a big accident on the I-90 and there was a tractor trailer on fire. So if, for those of you who travel that road, there's only two lanes on either side going through New York. And the so tractor... took the pizza that one time? No, it was a different guy. Um, so it, the traffic was a parking lot. You couldn't move. Ollie's game started at 6. Ollie arrived at 6.50, got out of the car and went right up to Blatt. Uh, two batters later, three batters later, hit a double, I think, and uh, he played pretty good. His team played pretty good. They just a little errors, like kids, right? Nine-year-old kids. They just made some errors, and and they got pumped pretty good. So they got a game today. They're starting a tournament today, and have like a home run derby. I said that big kid, the big moose there, that played for. Uh, there was a kid literally looked like he shaved before the game and drove a taxi. He looked like he was 19 years old. He was and like five eight for sure. He was a big boy, nine or ten years old. I don't, I don't know. No, they're eight and nine. That kid was massive. Yeah, you went to that daycare. That's right. That's where you got COVID. Thanks for reminding me. Um, It was a a giant kid, and he could just pound the ball. He hit the one ball, almost hit a car uh, with a uh, just to the foul of the home run pole. But man, he is a he was a big big boy. Uh, I suspect he'll be the victor in the home run derby today, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but Ollie's team, uh, Ollie's team, they play good, and hopefully they have some fun in the in the skills competitions today and the home run derby, and then play good at 3:45. Obviously, uh, I appreciate the uh, the patience of our clients, and I booked off the Meadows today to stay and watch Ollie play uh, play baseball and, and compete in the skills competitions. Uh, it's going to be a really nice day here in uh, in Ohio. And then tonight we have uh, Stay Special. Uh, a couple of the guys, uh, the coach and a couple of the assistant coaches are going to come out to the, to the races tonight. It should be a lot of fun. But we're not going to talk about tonight yet. We're going to talk about yesterday. And it was a great day. You know, if Kings County had a one at 6 to 5, it would have been a tremendous day. I know that Scotty got away a little bit back with tactical landing and or tactical mounts. And it just didn't. It wasn't a, v- a really good trip for us, but it, you know, you know what they say about best laid plans. So um, she'll bounce back. She still tried about fifty-three and a piece, twenty-seven and a piece on the end of it. She's going to be a nice filly, but that's a deep division. That's a tough division. So let's talk about what took place. Yo, Mister, huge mile from Yo, Mister, fifty-two and one. Uh, he trotted yesterday, last quarter in 27, 28. I don't know. The horse looked amazing. Um, Brett did a great job with him, got him away really close, rushed him off the car, got seated away well, and then uh, and then um, just got beat by a real good horse. For those of you who forget that ticket horse, he raced, I told you, he raced in the Breeders' Crown Elimination, I think, last year, and then got hurt. Um, but uh, a really, really nice horse, and, and Yo Mister was running him down at the wire. So, big mile from him, really, really happy with the way he's racing. Um, our biggest problem with Yo Mister right now is getting in on a regular basis. So I know Stacy is working on that. Uh, she was pretty upset yesterday after Kings County made a break. They took the hobbles off him. And he made that break. He just got doubled up in the first turn. She said, ah, oh, we'll just qualify him with the hobbles on. And I said, why don't you just take him to the Meadows? You don't have to qualify uh, at the Meadows when you make a break off a qualifier. You do in Ohio. And you can put the hobbles on him just by entry, which you also can't do in Ohio. So rather than qualifying with the hobbles on and really wasting a race with our horse, uh, why don't you just take him take him up to the meadows and, and race him there, which she thought was a great idea. Um, we'll see what happens next week, but I believe you'll see Kings County bounce back and the hobbles on and go to the meadows for his start. Now, uh, what else went on? Uh, so we've Yo Mister, Kings County, Cash Deals, I don't think has ever looked as good as she did last night. You know, I'd said to Patricia last week, you know, she said we she should we should be at Mohawk in the grassroots, and I said absolutely not. I have zero interest in in chasing better horses. And when you look at the grassroots divisions, race by race, you might find a race and say, well, she could do in there. Well, I can use that argument also and say, what about the toughest division? She get destroyed in there. 
And when they only race for 22000 you say, well, the only way she would make more money would be if she was first or second. So if she finished third, you actually made more money racing the Prospect Series. And it's a good confidence builder for this filly who clearly does have talent. And I do believe that she'll see 57 or faster in her life. But I think building that confidence in the way she's doing it, the way that Mario is doing it, is by far the best way to do it. A great job uh, by him yesterday with the filly and a great race from, she, he should have drove, well, I guess Brett drove Cutting Connie last week, right? I was going to say, why didn't Mario drive Cutting Connie? Um, Cutting Connie actually raced pretty good too. Two minutes, last quarter in 29. Um, I thought she was going to be first, second, or third around the last turn and then just kind of fizzled out a little bit and finished fourth. But um, to be fair, uh, the toughest of the two divisions. I know they didn't go faster. Uh, I don't think they did. Um, but it looked like a, a much more competitive division than the first one. But I was glad to see Cunning Connie race good. We'll see her bounce back now. You'll likely see her in the Nomers of Two condition claimer at, at Grand River until we can get her, much like Cash Deals, moving in the right direction, get some confidence under her belt. JK Victory, long time coming. It feels like years since we bought this horse. 49-1 and one last night and looked very, very good doing it. Really happy with the way he looked. Clearly, he's making gains and looking better. Uh, very happy with what I saw from JK Victory. So great job by Ron Burke. Great job, I believe, Trace Tietrich drove the horse. And the horse just looked good last night. Very happy with him. Somebody said, you know, he looks a little bumpy finishing up. Well, guys, if you go back and look at his races before we ever bought him, he looked the exact same way. So I wouldn't call that a step backwards or some sort of regression in his gait or his talent or his ability. He's the same horse he was last year. He was a horse now that we bought, I believe. We just bought him for the wrong place at the wrong time. So uh, the good news was that we we made changes. We moved him back to Indiana, and he's starting to excel in the environment he did excel in last year. So happy to see J.K. Victory do good, and then obviously we got to watch Tactical Mounds. Are you crazy? <laughs> we got to watch Tactical Mounds race, and as I said, I'm, I'm pretty sure if you ask Scotty, just not the trip he was looking for. Uh, ended up getting stalled, getting into the last turn. A long way to come. Had even following Special Lady. I think that's her name, Special Lady, right? Special Way. Special Way. Special Way. Had he been following Special Way, I think, you know, he gets a chunk, and he, maybe he doesn't beat her. I mean, she looks bionic, but he gets a run on her for sure. Uh, probably gets a gets a hunk of the money, but instead we kind of got um, kind of got stalled getting into the last turn. A long way to come for a, for a filly that is competitive, uh, and I think that's a fair way to put it. She's competitive in that division, so um, she'll stay down in New Jersey. We get some overnights for her, or Poconos or wherever. There's no need to move her around otherwise. So Megan will have her in next week, I'm sure. Um, I went today to the barn. I wanted to go with uh, my girl. Um, uh, pull the shoes. She trained very, very strong today. Wanted to tinker with really don't care. Changed her gear a little bit more. She was awesome this morning. Both those fillies trained super, super good. So really excited about next week and what it may bring for us uh, for the qualifiers at least. We got 23 I think is the number I came up with that will be qualifying next Thursday morning here in Ohio. I know Scott Zeron is coming to qualify the horses and I'm trying to convince my brother Mark to come. I know he can't, he won't commit, but uh, hopefully, um, I can talk him into it over the next few days. I'll be speaking to him today. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Just a tremendous morning here. The weather is perfect. I hope it's great where you are because it is a nice weekend. I can't wait to see Ollie play baseball, hang out with Amy and the kids for the rest of the morning, and then um, and then watch Ollie play baseball, race the horses tonight. It should be, could be, and hopefully will be a wonderful day here in Ohio. Take care, everybody.